let's see this question this is very interesting one so v is a sinusoid with one megahertz frequency you need to draw the output waveform as steady state okay so sinusoid waveform is given uh, frequency is one megahertz output waveform you need to draw so this is simple comparator if v is greater than zero it will give plus v set if v is less than zero it will give minus v set this is simple comparator you know okay so let's just say this is your v exponential i am calling this as v exponential so how will your vx look like this is how your vx will look like plus 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 for 0 to 0 0.5 micro it would be plus 5 because v is greater than 0 then minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 in that manner it will go right okay now let's draw the v naught waveform so let's see what happens at v naught so listen it very carefully so initially 5 volt will come capacitor is having 0 voltage so 5 volt will directly come here and diode will be turning on say yes or no at uh, t equals to 0 plus diode turns on diode is on and if diode is on how will your circuit look like this is c and this r and r will come in parallel so it would be r by 2 and this is c this is your vx this is your v naught so directly 5 volt will come and then it will discharge this is your v naught waveform so from 5 volt directly will come here and it will discharge and what is the time constant here v not uh, capacitor will be charging so v not will be going down right this uh, this thing you know right 5 volt is there so initially capacitor is having 0 volt at steady state capacitor will be open circuited so v not will go to 0 and what is the time constant rc by 2 what is the value of rc that is 1 nano 1 nano by 2 so very less time time constant is very low and you are having a window of 0 0.5 microsecond you are having a window of 0 0.5 microsecond and time constant is very low that means it will be completely discharged so this will be completely discharged till 0 0.5 micro we have analyzed it right now this capacitor has been charged to 5 volt this capacitor has been charged to 5 volt at steady state capacitor will be charged to 5 volt now what will happen minus 5 will come here minus 5 will come so minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 this diode will be off so at uh, t equals to 0 0.5 micro plus what will happen diode is off diode will be off because minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 diode will be off and if diode is off then how will the circuit look like this is c diode is off so certainly v naught will be 0 only because if diode is off resistor will drive 0 ampere current so v naught will be 0 v naught will be 0 this is v naught so till 1 micro v naught will be 0 but what will happen to capacitor that is very interesting okay here you are having minus 5 this is 5 volt so capacitor will charge now because the current will flow in this direction the capacitor will charge or you can say discharge so initially capacitor is having 5 volt at steady state capacitor will be open circuited so at steady state at a steady state capacitor will be open circuited time constant is very low time constant is rc rc time constant is 1 nanosecond which is very low so in this time window from 0 0.5 micro to 1 micro this capacitor will be charged that means capacitor will be open circuited and if capacitor is open circuited that means capacitor will be charged in the opposite direction in this manner this is 0 this is minus 5 so it will be charged to 5 volt in this manner capacitor will be charged to 5 volt are you getting this point this is the interesting thing v naught is 0 but here something is happening with the capacitor capacitor is getting charged and it will be charged to 5 volt okay so now what will be at uh, now let's check at uh, t equals to so now our capacitor is charged in the opposite direction in this direction because if it is open circuit so here you will have zero here you will have minus five so it is charged to five volt in this direction now what will happen what will be your input now now your input will be five volt now your input will be five volt right so at t equals to one microsecond plus at t equals to one microsecond plus what will happen 5 plus 5 10 volt will come and diode will turn on at t equals to 1 microsecond plus diode will turn on diode on but how much voltage will come 5 plus 5 10 volt will come diode will turn on and 10 volt will come so v naught will be here 10 volt did you get this point or not v naught here will be 10 volt again capacitor will be discharging what will be the circuit this will be the circuit diode is turning on so this would be r by 2 r by 2 and this is c 
this is 5 volt and this is also 5 volt. So, at V naught you are having 10 volt and then capacitor will be open circuited at steady state capacitor will be open circuited. So, V naught will go down to 0 from 10 to it will go down to 0 from 10 to it will go down to 0 right and then it will remain there till 1.5 micro. After that again what will happen minus 5 will come this capacitor would have been charged to 5 volt right at steady state at a steady state in this condition this V naught would have been 0 this would have been 5 so capacitor would have been charged to 5 volt capacitor would be charged like this then again minus 5 will come so minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 diode again will be off if diode again is off then again till 2 microsecond it will be 0 now again capacitor will gain this voltage now again 5 volt will come here then again 10 volt will come here so again 10 volt will come and again it will discharge so that was the most important thing that was the most interesting thing of, of this question that at steady state you are having 10 volt being discharged not 5 volt being discharged generally what i have seen many people tease this concept in this manner that that uh, here you write down the here you write down the capacitor voltage in this manner you write down the capacitor voltage okay in this manner you write down the capacitor voltage from 5 to 0 then minus 5 to in this manner somehow they write down the capacitor voltage and then they say that that would will be uh, uh, that would will be like cancelling out these these waveforms so you will have the waveform like this you will have the waveform like this 5 to 0 5 to 0 5 to 0 which is, which is absolutely wrong if you are saying in this manner they this doesn't make any sense you have to analyze the circuit taking both of them together it doesn't mean like you are just cancelling out those, those waveforms no nothing like that at steady state 5 to 0 10 to 0 10 to 0 because when v in is minus 5 volt this capacitor is getting charged this capacitor is getting charged to 5 volt in the opposite direction then again 5 is coming then 10 volt is going towards the output then 10 to 0 then again minus 5 is coming again it is getting charged to 5 volt in the opposite direction then again 10 volt again discharge so this is the way it is going okay so this was the very good point about this question so option b will be correct okay then note this one okay